Okay, so um, I'm Yannick. Um, I'm actually volunteering now for the Brussels uh, for the Zitos Beer Festival, um, festival I've been responsible for before, but now I'm just um, here for two days, helping um, having the, the thing running actually. Yeah, and so this is an amazing showcase of Belgian beer, and we're so excited to be here again in 2019. Yeah. What has you known the festival and the beer threat? How is can you say how Belgian beer has evolved? Well, we saw, because at, um, it's one of the um, little festivals in Belgium that you have only a focus on Belgian beer. So this is quite really good representation of the Belgian beer scene. And we saw in the last year evolution from, um, let's say, when we started here in Leuven, I knew all the brewers. It were all the time the same brewers coming, um, very, um, fixed acid brewers in Belgium and now if I look around I maybe know um, half of them personally and half of them are quite new breweries that I um, just know by name or I, um, I have seen them somewhere but I don't know them any more personally. Um, so that's one of the first big changes I think the amount of breweries that came uh, in the last few years. And then you also see a shift in the um, uh, style of beers that are presented. Um, we're moving slowly from the traditional uh, Belgian beer styles and a little bit more innovative um, beers, like more experimental stuff, but also more Belgian brewers trying to, um, I won't say copy, but um, also take a little bit of the part of the new Belgian, the new um, international beer styles, like IPAs, like all the breweries now have an IPA. Sometimes it's a Belgian version, but most of them also have a kind of American IPA. So very fruity, hoppy, everything. Um, and all the new styles that are coming up internationally are now really picked up very quickly by Belgian brewers. And uh, how can Belgian brewers stay competitive in a very competitive world, both internally and externally? Uh, do they keep a Belgian tradition or is there a Belgian tradition to be kept? Uh, if there is one to be kept, I'm pretty sure there is one, and that's for me the, the balance. Uh, I think, well, it's my opinion is that if you compare uh, Belgian beers to a lot of, uh, for example, Dutch beers or um, American beer, beers especially, I think in Belgium you find way more balance in those beers. We're not trying to go for the extremes, um, even if some of the brewers, I mean, you have some exceptions, of course, but uh, especially the more, um, the more traditional ones, if they experiment, it's still uh, with in mind that you have to be able to drink a second glass of the beer you're drinking. And it's not like just bam in your head, uh, in your face, uh, as sour as possible or as bitter as possible. So I think that's one of the big uh, assets that we have here in Belgium that makes the, the, the culture here own. And I hope uh, most of them will uh, keep it and I have the feeling it's also um, something that will stay in that sense that you well, I think the beer lovers are a little bit bored of uh, that kind of experimental stuff it's going all different ways you have like um, uh, very very nice stuff very interesting stuff but it's not because it's interesting that it's drinkable and Drinkability is something that's, at least for me, and I think for a lot of Belgian brewers, still a very, very important uh, point. And is the Belgian brand still competitive now with all this diversion, di diversity? Yeah, I think it is. Um, yeah. Depends what you mean by uh, competitive. Um, well, you're getting a lot of American brands and people here are drinking a lot wider variety mm. internally. Do, are they feeling the competition? They feel the competition mostly on the export mm -hmm. in the US. Like uh, the uh, export to the US dropped quite significantly. On the other hand, Belgian brewers are quite um, uh, traditional, uh, Belgian drinkers, I mean, are quite traditional drinkers. And they're also not moving a lot to um, foreign beers. So they drink still a lot of the, the traditional Belgian stuff. So yeah, yeah I think inside the country, it's. Uh, there is not a big problem of uh, competitiveness. And they will come back to Belgium sooner or later, that yeah. traditional taste. It's also like uh, Belgian beer is not very, very expensive. 
So as soon as there is beer coming from abroad, it's like a quite big difference in, in price. And uh, yeah, people really hear beer is more like a part of society. Um, people drink it to enjoy it. And it's not just drinking it because it's something special. So I think the Belgian, um, I won't say that the Belgian consumer is lacking some courteousness but he's maybe less uh, seeking all the time new stuff and uh, it doesn't matter if it's like if it's a good beer I can just drink it all the time and it's I don't have to have like a new beer every every day or every week and uh, so yeah I think in that sense it's uh, not a big threat.